name's Madison. Um, I go by Billy. Um, just something I like better than Madison. My choice. Um, nice to meet you. I am pretty um, removed emotionally from the situation that happened 10 years ago, but it's still traumatizing. It was the first time I was ever um, in a forewarning, uh, tr trigger alert. Um, I'm about to use the R word. Um, I was raped um, in college, my freshman year, uh, New Year's Eve, um, in residence by my best friend at the time's acquaintance, or her friend's friend. I don't know, him. Like, I met him that night, and I woke up naked the next day, New Year's Day. I've asked her, I've asked Michelle Wilson three times now if that was true, that he slept in my bed that night. And every time she said that it was true. And this time, 11 years later, the third time I messaged her about it, she said something like, I've never ever expected this reaction ever in my life. But it's so powerful that I think you guys need to see it because it's it's disgusting. Um, I said to her, you got me raped. I don't think you really do understand, but one day you will probably try to. By then it will be too late. You were a bad friend, and you let your friend rape me when I was 18. On New Year's Eve, waking up naked, alone, and afraid was devastating. You laughed at me, what I asked about... When I asked about it, I had a couple spelling mistakes. I'm happy we don't hang anymore. You were not nice, lol. I don't know how you all expect me to be nice when you all treat me like garbage. Um, all referring to the group of friends that I had in college who refuse to talk to me and have all blocked me except for this person who I have had to block for harassing me at this point because I told her that she did something wrong and she felt it necessary to social media swap messaging and start harassing me about what I'm about to tell you. So I finished with thanks for that trauma and I am sure I am sure I am glad that Humber has cameras. Which they do. Cause I don't remember signing anyone into my room. I didn't consent that night. I know exactly what night it was, I know who I was with. And I know that I woke up naked and alone, and she admitted that this man stayed in my room. And he not only stayed in my room, he carried my unconscious body to my room, and she let that happen. And this is what she said when I confronted her about it for the third time in our life. What the fuck? Question mark. So you held that in until now? Question mark. It's been ten years since college. You know that, right? Like, I forgot I'm 28 and not 18 when I was raped. I did not forget that, Michelle Wilson. Thank you for reminding me with your condescension. You blame me for your mistakes? Nice. You're fucked. I don't feel sorry for you. <laughs> I'm fucked? Okay, bud. I said... No, I'm sorry. You didn't remember me asking you New Year's Day or that time I met you and your boyfriend in London. Last year, 10 years later to the day. Technically, this would be coming up on 11 years later, but who's counting? You laughed both times. What the fuck is wrong with you, Michelle, that you thought that was okay? Hmm? Nice. Nice. I'm fucked? No shit I'm fucked. I got fucked unconsensually by your friend, don't you remember? How is that my fault? That I had unconsensual sex? I didn't consent to sex, dude. You pretty much consented on my behalf. Like, I didn't know I signed up for a body partnership with you where you got full reign over who got to be inside of my vagina, but thanks, I guess. 
Um, I don't blame you. I definitely just wish that as a woman to another woman, you would be able to accept that you made a de devastating mistake when you allowed a man into my room that night. You were never a friend to me. You were a bully. And you were really bad at it. And uh, I just let it go. Because I knew you in at, at MTS. Like, I saw you and I knew you and at least there was somebody I knew of and apparently I just picked the wrong fucker, man. Not everyone from London's super nice, Michelle. And I think you're one of those people. Jeez, your dad even scared the shit out of me. Really upset that I just wasn't going to be able to drive on my own with my little sister to the apartment, even though you had plenty of room for all of us to carpool. And he got so upset, Michelle, that my family wouldn't let me, a 17-year-old, drive on the highway to Toronto with my little sister who was underage. We didn't want to go with you to paint because we were scared of your dad. I didn't want to move in with you at that point because your family was really weird and you were really weird and you were getting weirder and to be honest with you like you've got some screws loose like I'm not trying to be funny but like I've spent the last five years in a mental institution talking to psychiatrists and I'm certifiably good though like I'm good um, I feel sorry for you though like I I get it, like, you don't have to feel sorry for me, I'm not asking you to, to be honest, like, I don't need a pity party, I don't want that, like, fuck it, it's been 11 years, Michelle, all I need is, like, you know, acknowledgement and, uh, respect that you were a shitty person, <laughs> and, uh, you really treated me like a piece of shit for no reason that I still, to this day, don't understand, it's caused a lot of trauma in my head, and... I think you got off on it, like, you sick, fetishized my pain. Did you like it when I got diagnosed with major depressive disorder? Was that fun for you? Did it turn you on to fuck with me more, knowing that I was so depressed after being raped by your friend? You make me sick. You made me get raped 11 years ago, so don't you damn fucking forget it, because you're getting reported to police. Fuck you.